G'day guys, Anton Tam here. Today we're going to learn about generators and octane render. So let's start up by loading a mesh. I'm going to use my subsurf scattering object. So what generators is, is pretty much inbuilt texture generators that octane has. It's not like um, live database. Um, it's more of a pretty basic built-in texture. Now, I'm just going to set my scene up a bit. Okay, so now So let's to get the uh, generators first you have to assign a material so let's get a glossy or whatever you want and pick your put your glossy material to your object okay now to get to get the generators we're going to put all the generators in the graph editor so right click hover your mouse over add go to textures and generators. Now here are here is a list of all the generators that Octane has. So let's click check, put that over here. Again, go to marble. Next. Okay, so now let's start. So let's start with checks material, mix material, mix texture. So sign that to your RGB spectrum diffuse and click back to your monkey. So as you can see, it is a checkered, checkerboard texture. Um, you can mess around with the scaling of it. And yep, it's pretty cool. You can assign it to all of these materials you can also assign it to the uh, specular roughness film width and all the other ones I'm gonna assign it to a I'm gonna leave it like that so um, we'll do that at the end mix all of them together but here's a quick pre here's this is just a quick preview so this is the checkerboards so if you're making a texture te checkerboard chessboard then you could use this to your advantage Next is marble texture, and yep, yeah, that's moving on. As you can see, it's obviously a marble type texture. You can change the power, obviously, the offsets, the oct a the octaves, your mega, which is pretty much the visibility of it, or the. Uh, yeah, the visibility, and this is the uh, roughness of the octaves. No, the visibility of the omega, and you can change the scale to more like an alien brains type texture. This one's really good in bum mapping. So, bum mapping, and you can also change that to make it look good. It's pretty sick. So that's the marble texture. The next one we're going to check it out is the rigid fracture. And almost like the alien, almost like the marble, but not so. Uh, a bit different. More, more, more. It's more cut, swervy. Don't get confused with this being an emitter. It's just having a shitload of specularity to it. change that, change the scaling it's pretty cool so that you can use that for a uh, I don't know um, water texture maybe you, you can use it for a bump maybe, maybe. try and be creative this is the saw now um, 
some of these are the same, but some are different, have their own techniques and own special special uh, characteristics around them. This is the saw wave. You can use this for wood textures and such. Pretty cool. Circular. And everything. Pretty cool. And you can also add the sin wave. Very much the same, except the uh, edges are much, uh, way more smaller. Uh, I mean, softer. You can also do circular. Looks kick ass. And turbulence. Turbulence is uh, one I'm familiar with. I use it a lot in Blender. I'm actually going to use this in a lot for testing out button maps and such. Looks like clouds. It's like it's clouds, cloudish texture. So now that you've had a quick overview, let's start going a bit crazy. So let's first get um, let's do the cheeks. No, not chest. Uh, the marble. For the color of it, which uh, the turbulence for the bump, sin for the roughness, rigid for specularity, Uh, specularity and let's get the uh, the saw for the bump yeah put change the uh, things a bit up and render that out so that's a brief overview of generators. I hope you enjoy it and I hope this will come in handy somehow. Next next tutorial we'll be going through mixed textures.